nobody wins when the family feels. How you gon' charm me with gang? It's TV locked in the cell. The gang with me. My cousin got killed. The shitty kids feel like crack counting. They trying to get rid of me. You put on the news. You made the wrong move. Don't play with my brother. Tell him about it. He better run. Yeah. He better run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't got no gun. He better run. Tell him about it. If I see me a all nigga, know I'm pop. I was throwing the bullet, QB ain't no drop. We in the club on the pipe up, turn up. Brought out the rest on the pipe up. I told that little to pipe up. Yeah, I made them little nigga pipe up. 14 gang related shootings since the start of the year. That's what Athens Clark County police are dealing with. Now they have arrested eight suspects, but tell us others remain on the run. This one overnight in Clark County. The call went out just before 1 a.m. to an area along Mitchell Bridge Road in Athens. It's close to where the Athens perimeter intersects with the Atlanta Highway. And when officers arrived, they found 21 year old Marquise Jackson shot. He was taken to a hospital where he later died. Three other people also were hurt, but their injuries were non-life threatening. And dead tonight after a shooting that happened last night in Athens. This unfolding just before five o'clock Friday evening along Gaines School Road. That's roughly a mile from Cedar Shoals High School. Athens Clark County Police tells 11 Alive that this started as a fight between two teenagers that led to them, that led them rather to firing shots at one another. Both Athens community is rallying around a family after their three year old son was tragically killed when bullets ripped through their home last night. Many things going on just this year alone in this one neighborhood. Why is it only one camera at the front reading only tag? It, it, well, one time bro, I was in the car with my daughter I had on a bulletproof vest. And I looked at my daughter and she didn't have nothing on. She didn't even have on no bulletproof vest. Like I almost cried. I had to take my bulletproof vest off and put it on my daughter. Just this past Friday in Athens, Georgia, a three-year-old lost his life after him and his nine-year-old brother were struck by a hell of gunfire after their house was shot up. Now, of course, I wanted to look into this situation, knowing what I know nine times out of ten. In a situation like that, that house was targeted. So of course I wanted to see who really lived in it, but I didn't have to, cause shortly after an arrest came. And of course, authorities gave out information between two gangs on why this situation happened. And today we here to discuss it all. They hoods, they rappers, and of course, all the public information pertaining their deaths or their arrests and even casualty of this war. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. The Family TV can only provide public records. I'm sure there's many more incidents that we can't talk about in regards to this war because it's not public. But this war needs to be addressed because it's getting out of hand. You have kids that's yet to be teenagers on YouTube just six months ago posting this. I spent the ops, RTG, EBE for life, just 38 views. Fam, before I tell you what RTG stands for and EBE, check out this video. Oh yeah, we want me. Now we're gonna stop it here, but this little kid really need a spanking. He can't even get out his words, but he carrying a fake firearm in his quote unquote ops neighborhood and walking and recording, acting like he's shooting it up at a very early age like that. In fact, we know that can end badly. And we talking about quick. 
Now, Lil Homie was at an apartment complex called Clark Garden Apartments in Athens, Georgia, on Thumper Avenue, which is also known for the housing of RTG, Red Tape Gang. And they have rappers like RTG Quan with tracks like Gang Activity, released three years ago. Oh, no, nigga. <laughs> no, y'all nigga hate this shit, man. Oh, man. How you gonna charm me with gang and TV? Locked in the cell, the gang with me. My cousin got killed, the shit be killed. Feel like Crack County ain't trying to get rid of me. How you gonna charm me with gang and TV? Locked in the cell, the gang with me. My cousin got killed, the shit be killed. Feel like Crack County ain't trying to get rid of me. How you gonna charm me with gang and TV? Years later, pled guilty of four counts of violation and street gang terrorism and prevention act. And during this time, we was able to see what RTG stand for. Dang. But before we talk about that indictment and that conviction, the reason RTG Quan had made the song Gang Activity. It's because he was pulled over with the same car he had in this video. They didn't get charged till a year later. But according to Athens Clark County Police, two defendants were arrested the night of April 9th, 2020, when officers conducted a traffic stop on a white Porsche being driven by RTG Kwan as it was entering Athens Gardens' apartment off Lexington Road. The officer had called for backup after seeing the passenger, Xavier Mitchell, a known RTB gang member who was out on bond for a previous arrest for criminal street gang activity. The vehicle was subsequently searched by officers who located two firearms, two vacuum sealed plastic bags of Murray Jane, a digital scale, and undisclosed amount of cash. RTB Kwan and Xavier both bonded out of jail the next day, and at this point, Clark County had confirmed that RTG, Red Tape Gang, is a local hybrid gang in Athens County with ties to major national bloods, including Sex Money Murder and Rolling Twenties. Also confirming that RTG have an ongoing feud with another local gang, EBE, Everybody Eats, who now referenced a hood to Montana block after a local rapper that go by the name of EBE Montana lost his life. He better run. He ain't even got no gun. Got that. He better run. He better run. Yeah. He better run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't even got no gun. He better run. Some say the demise of Keytrevy and Co., aka EBE Montana, just 20 years old, on May 2nd, 2021, when he lost his life, was the first body to drop between EBE and RTG. Authority said EBE Montana life was stolen in the early morning hours of May 2nd, 2021, when he was the passenger in a car. East Georgia Interstate 316, where another vehicle pulled alongside his and the occupants opened fire. EBE Montana life was stolen right away and the driver was also wounded, who was the rapper's relative. Police believe that the shooting was in retaliation of an exchange of gunfire between the occupants of the two vehicles on Lexington Road that occurred two months earlier. Earlier. Now, when EBE Montana lost his life, Athens Clark County Police Department had warrants for his arrest for being an alleged participant in the shootout. And the next person to lose their life due to this deadly feud was a 19 year old rapper, RTG Mainax. Where the hell you at, Real name Elijah Nelson, RTG Mainax, own homie, was charged for his M1. Let me tell you how. See this grown man? This 27-year-old Jeffrey Rice, a documented RTG member who was recently sentenced on August 21st, 2023 to 30 years in prison, 18 years in jail, and the rest on probation for a shooting where he was the driver riding around Elijah Nelson, a.k.a. RTG Mainex, who was in the passenger. October 21st, 2022, they spotted an alleged rival gang member walking to a nearby gas station. The Attorney General Office said when Rice and Nelson, a fellow member of Red Tape Gang, stopped their vehicle and began shooting, the unnamed rival gang member returned fire, taking the life of Nelson, according to court documents. And this happened on 145 Gaines Road at a Sitco gas station. So we clear, RTG Mainex lost his life and returned fire after they stopped with him and the 27-year-old to shoot at an op they spotted. And the 27-year-old was arrested and charged for RT Mainex's demise. May you rest in peace. One person dead tonight after a shooting. That happened last night in Athens. This unfolding just before 5 o'clock Friday evening along Gaines School Road. That's roughly a mile from Cedar Shoals High School. 
Athens Clark County Police tells 11 Alive that this started as a fight between two teenagers that led to them, that led them rather to firing shots at one another. Both victims were still at the scene when officers got there. The names of the victims, both male, were not released, but we are told the 19 year old was killed. An 18 year old was taken for, to a local hospital for treatment. Now the next public life that was claimed by this daily few was the 24 year old Giovanni McDavid, an alleged member of RTG Red Tape Gang. He was fatally injured the night of March 5th, 2023 in a drive-by shooting that targeted a house on Northview Drive and Five Points where police said a party was being held. More than 40 rounds reported were fired during the exchange of gunfire between occupants of a car and the party attendees. Three adults, EBE members, and one juvenile were arrested for the deadly assault and subsequently indicted for M1, criminal gain activity and related crimes. And for the most recent shooting, which claimed the life of the toddler at Hallmark Estate, it was an 18-year-old alleged gang member in that house who was the alleged target who was claimed not to be injured March 8th, 2024. Check out the footage and hear from the mother. Athens community is rallying around a family after their three-year-old son was tragically killed when bullets ripped through their home last night. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy has exclusive details on what the community is doing and plans to help the family. Oh my God, my baby. On Friday, two young children ages three and nine were sitting together watching a movie inside their house on Spring Valley Road when bullets tore through that home, striking three-year-old Chiron Zarco and his brother. Zarco died from his injuries and his older brother is now recovering. It's been so many things going on just this year alone in this one neighborhood. Why is there only one camera at the front reading only tag? Chiron's mom, Shanita Smith, says the toddler woke up that morning with a fever, so she stayed home to take care of him. She also says they cuddled all day and watched movies. She later left to pick up one of her other kids from soccer practice, and just before she left, she says her baby boy asked her to bring back one of his favorite treats. Oh, God. I still got his gummy bears and dinner in my car. <gasps> Shane Blackwell owns and operates Mac and Payne Funeral Home and is a community activist. He says he sees a lot of violence and it's hard for everyone when something like this happens. It hurts, especially when it's on my side of town. And uh, I don't care if it's a stray bullet or whatever. No bullets don't have anybody's name on it. They're just going ricocheting off or whatever. So um, it hurts dearly to my heart that uh, we lost another uh, child to gunfire. It was during Eleven Alive's exclusive interview with Blackwell that he was so moved by Chiron's death that he offered to pay for the funeral. Police say they've arrested one person in connection to this fatal shooting. The family says they believe there are at least three people involved and they're all minors. But now these kids have taken over and mm -hmm. nobody wants to fight no more and everybody wants to shoot. This family's heartache was compounded today when a large tree fell onto their house. Crews were on the scene removing the tree, but what they can't remove is the unimaginable pain that Chiron's death has brought. Reporting from Athens, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News. And just into our newsroom, within the last hour, police say one person has been arrested and two more are wanted. You're looking at 17-year-old Julian Cabellos of Lawrenceville. He's in custody tonight. He's facing felony murder, malice murder, aggravated assault charges, and more. Right now, police are offering a $2,000 reward for information leading to the other arrests. Now, the details on those suspects have not been released, but we'll bring you more updates. Now, before we talk about anything else, we want to say rest in peace to Zavron Cargo and love condolences to his family. Now, Julian Cabellos were alleged members or are alleged members of EBE, Everybody Eats, which means we have to assume the person in that house was an alleged member of RTG, Red Tape Gang. Now, an affiliate of RTG, Ketchuan Baldy, had this to say when asked about EBE Montana in a recent interview. So, uh, another quick, well, you know, this is like we got the good questions, man. You know, like a lot of people gonna come with, with the bad questions, man. Nah. Uh, fan asks, uh, why do people envy you? I, like, I in, in your city, they're asking, like, why do, why do people envy you in your silly city? So, I'm, I'm guessing there's a lot of jealousy going on in your city. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like 50% of it probably my own fault and 50% of nigga hate, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I say by my fault, it's just like what you promote. I feel like in these last couple of years, my music, I don't niggas hate me a lot. 
So it can come off like a lot of niggas hate you. But in reality, a lot of don't hate you. It's just a group of niggas hate you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got mad love and asking. It's like, it, it, it's a lot of people that love me. I got, I got, think I got more people that love me than like me, but it just like, I've, I I fail to show different lately. I feel like I just been showing more. I've been feeding into too much of the energy of niggas not liking me. So I'm trying to change it up, but I feel like a lot of people love me. But you got haters though. So, and for the people that don't like me, they probably just don't like me because I'm a strong individual. Like, I'm like, in the most humblest way, like, look at me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing my own thing. I get my own money. I buy my own jewelry. I ain't in no gang. And every, every, every accolade and everything I done done to get her the day I done it by myself, opposed to a lot of people that built a reputation off of hanging with other people. And, you know, so. But, you know, Whenever you're at that status and people see that you got a lot of things going on, like a lot of good things, your name's being mentioned a lot. Yeah. A lot of envy comes with that. Like, yeah. as we know, as, as we all know, like, she all know, like, shit, a lot of rappers had to move away from their city yeah. because just, just because of that type of vibe. Like, right. I know Boozy had to move away for his. Yeah. Ross, Ross there around the corner from me. He, he had to move away from his city. Like, shit, they, they try to take him out. I moved so, out of the city two times. I moved out of Atlanta. I had to move out of Atlanta two times. See, you see what I'm saying? So like, it's, it's like, it's really be, it really be the best, be the best move, especially when, yeah. when you know in your city, you know what I'm saying, for, for certain type of things. <laughs> I'm liking the wise words, man. So is there any other like rumors that's, that's floating around like in your city that you would like to like address or anything like that? I mean, shit, rumors, you know, but. They just come with like they just come with this crazy stuff like you know even like with Montana like I fought Montana I fought Montana you know what I'm saying that was my dog you feel what I'm saying like we went buddy buddy but you know he was from the east side you know what I'm saying and just like some of the people he didn't like they were from the east side we all from the east side and you know I don't really get into that type what I'm saying like I don't get in I'm the EA guy you know I don't get in the east side east side violent you know what I'm saying I'm more like the big bro with it, you know just look into me but I don't really let it get to me because like I said um. It ain't no problem until they ain't saying that. Shout out to 8 Billion Talks for that clip. You guys want to check the entirety of that interview out? You guys should go over there and do so. If he moving like that, like he just said in that interview, you can't do nothing but respect it. Fam, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one. As we wrap this video up, want to say rest in peace to all the victims and love of condolences to the family. Senseless. This was the story of one of the most deadliest rap beefs in Athens, Georgia history. Talk to me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, I'll catch you guys on the next one.